Hi everybody, it's me again, Moody Boo, and I'm here to do a quickie car review. Um, I have a few moment, moments during my lunch break, so I thought I'd go ahead and knock one out. And today I'm going to talk about one of my favorites um, from the House of 4160 Tuesdays, and this is Sex Goddess. Now, um, <clears throat> Sex Goddess is one of many that I have from 4160 Tuesdays. I really love this house. Um, and it's they're really affordable. Most of them are under $100. Their performance is amazing, and they're quickly becoming one of my favorite perfume houses. Now, I wanted to talk about Sex Goddess, and from what I understand, Sex Goddess was a mistake. It was, uh, well, not really a mistake, but they were layering a bunch of perfumes to see how a couple of their other perfumes would work together. And um, the sexiest scent in the, on the planet, in my humble opinion, and uh, uh, what was the other one? Um, Goddess of Love and Perfume. They combined those and they loved it so much that they actually bottled it and turned it into Sex Goddess. And I love Sex Goddess. Um, I also have Sexiest Scent on the planet, but I do not have um, Goddess of Love and Perfume, but I'm gonna have to check it out now. <clears throat> the notes on it are Rose Plum, Black Courant, Violet, Cedarwood, Musk, Lily, Raspberry, Jasmine, and Oak Moss. And not a lot of Oak Moss. She said it was Sarah McCartney. Um, said that they just added a touch of oak moss to it to give it a slight vintage feel, but there really isn't much in there. I don't detect it at all, but it does have a slight vintagey kind of a feel. <clears throat> it is sexy. Um, my husband's kind of neither here nor there with it, but I don't wear all of my perfumes for him. Most of them I wear for myself, and I think it's super sexy. Um, I don't know how much it'll appeal to men, but I think it really would appeal to a lot of women. It, it has kind of this plummy, black currant, raspberry, uh, blackberry, um, musky kind of a smell to it, but not too much musk, just enough to give it a little stank in there. Just, just, just a hint of, of, of naughty. And the rest of it is kind of a fruity, floral, um, not too much jasmine. Um, I'm not a big jasmine person, but there's just enough in there to give it a little indolic, just a hint of it, um, a flavor in there. And the rose, I think, is very subtle. It's a very fruity kind of a rose, but it's beautiful. Um, for me, I get about eight hours total from start to finish on it. It can be um, fairly good with the sillage the first hour or so, but once it dries down, it becomes more of a less than arm's length. You know, you've got to be a little closer to someone in order to smell it. So I would say it's about moderate sillage um, and fairly good longevity. Um, I think it's good for all seasons, spring, summer, winter, fall. I think it's probably better in warmer weather, but I haven't had it to try in um, cool weather, so we will see this winter. Um, <clears throat> it's fairly feminine, so I'm not sure. Men will be more, I think, most, many men, I shouldn't say most, but I think a lot of men will be more interested in smelling it on a woman than wearing it themselves, but it totally depends on the person, and you know, I say wear what you love. And uh, um, it's, it's not to me because of the slight indolic and the musk. I don't think it's good for work or working out, but I do in, in a lot of daytime activities, not necessarily unless you're on vacation or something like that. But I do think it's good for nights, um, any kind of nighttime activity uh, going out. Um, because it's not so in your face that you can't go clubbing with it. You know, you don't want to knock somebody on their keister when they're out on the dance floor with how strong your perfume is. But at the same time, when you're out on the dance floor or you're, you're at the bar or whatever, 
it's pretty intimate setting. You're pretty close, you know, elbow to elbow with a lot of people. And it would get you noticed, I think, in that, in that scenario. Um, I don't think it's good for office, but it's definitely good for in flagrante delicto in front of the fireplace kind of a thing um, with your significant other or one night stand. Who am I to judge? So anyway, that's Sex Goddess by 4160 Tuesdays and I love it. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to be doing a favorite house um, video soon. I'm also uh, got started my favorite top five cheapies, you know, under $100 um, that I purchased in the last 12 months and <clears throat> my favorite moderate perfumes, moderately priced perfumes, so one to two hundred dollars. My top five and then my top five that I purchased in the last 12 months and then my top five spendy perfumes over two hundred dollars and I haven't purchased five spendy perfumes in the last 12 months so these are just some of my favorite spendy perfumes that I've purchased in recent years. So anyway, okay, that's about it for me. Um, a quickie review, and I will talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Peace.